I'm sorry, I want to hold the snake, but I'm scared. Very first time she's ever held a snake. <laughs> that's your first uh, kid in your school that's going to have the other hand with a two-headed snake. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is absolutely incredible. I'm going to try something a little different today. And what I mean by that is that I typically take little snippets of the entire day on the vlog and kind of share the story with you. I'm going to do something that I've been thinking about for a while, and I don't know if it's going to work. And even if it works, it's not going to be something I do often. I just want to give it a shot. And that is, I'm going to take you on the journey of everything I do today. I'm going to try to really capture almost every single minute. It's seven o'clock in the morning now. I'm going to spend the next hour, hour and a half editing, and then I'm going to head over to the shop from there. So uh, let's go ahead and edit. Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. <laughs> I've got all my footage kind of laid out. Spent about an hour and a half, it's about 8.30 right now. Uh, I would love to finish this. I'm gonna have to somehow figure out to squeeze about another hour and a half or two hours into the edit throughout the day, but I have a very busy day, so I have to head over to the shop right now. <laughs> And I have a very busy day today. We have three tours at the Reptarium. Today I gotta, again, finish up my edit, gotta do all my YouTube stuff, got a whole bunch of animal work, and of course the Reptarium is open tonight. So anyone that knows me knows that I love busy days and I absolutely think it's the best. So it's gonna be an amazing one, but buckle up because it's gonna be interesting. And again, with this kind of documenting kind of every second of the day, that even adds more to it. As a matter of fact, when we get to the shop, I'll kind of give you guys an update of what kind of cameras I'm gonna use to hopefully do what I hope I'm gonna be able to figure out. And again, I don't even know if this is gonna work, but it's gonna be fun trying. Just checking around the Reptarium, obviously. Actually, before I really get going with anything here and I have some tours, I actually have an electrician coming, my buddy Vic. He's actually putting in the transfer switch for the generator. So anyone that knows that runs a reptile collection or something like that, you need a generator during the winter in case something goes out. So we have a transfer switch being installed today so that I don't have to worry about power over the winter. But uh, So he should be here any second. I'll let him in and then we'll get going. Hey, what's going on, man? How are we doing? All right, so tell me really quick. We're not going to lose power, you said, right? or what do we have to do here? Uh, we're just putting in a uh, backup generator panel right. and uh, for a very short time, you'll lose some lights. Okay, right but there. other than that, so, so because I have a tour at 10 o'clock and 11 and so on like that, so I just gotta work around that. You won't lose any power to your um, any of your displays. Oh, okay, oh, okay. I'm gonna let you get to it and I'm getting to work. Now that Vic the electrician is working over there, I wanna go through a little bit of a quick thing, just updating guys what I'm gonna be doing today and how I'm gonna be filming it. This is the gear that I'll be using. I've got three Canon G7X Mark IIs that I'll be using for time-lapsing, just you know all kinds of different things. I've got a uh, Lumex G85, which is the exact camera that I'm talking into now. So so I've got two of those. I'll be using that for some backup and some B-roll. I actually have this cool vest that I can put on and I can walk around and it'll actually show that point of view. This is actually a Sony RX100 that I'll be shooting. It shoots 4K, it's pretty good. I've got a couple GoPro cameras that I'm gonna be using, putting around. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to capture the day and these tools of the trade will help me do that if that makes any sense. So regardless, we have about a half an hour before I get to my first tour of the day. So I'm just gonna spend that time editing and commenting back to you guys on the video today. Just wrapped up my edit, so that is done for the day, and I'm just checking on some amazing animals right now. Look at this cute little red western hognose snake. I absolutely love hognose. So I'm just walking through BHB really quick, just making sure that everything is okay and that nothing needs my attention over here. My tour should be showing up any minute. It's about 10 o'clock, so we're making some good progress today. All right, so my first tour is here for the day. You guys excited to see some snakes? Yes! Okay, yes. all right, we're gonna show you guys a bunch of cool can stuff, I all right? Can touch one? You can hold one, you can do anything you want, all right? You can hold it up here, just like this. All right, I'll put it right around there. It's gonna be it's heavy, all right? Okay, so you're just gonna let him crawl on you, okay? And if these guys, you never grab these guys, you'll just let them crawl, okay? So he'll hang on to you, like that. Oh, that's pushy. 
Bye bye. Okay, guys, we'll see you later. Thank you so much for coming. Seriously, you guys are awesome. You have a great bye. time. Enjoy the rest of your holiday weekend and stuff like that. All right, guys, we'll see you soon. Bye. All right, moving on with the day. One tour down. It is now 11:15. My next tour is at 11:30. So just gonna do a quick couple things and then wait for my next people to show up. Lord, what do you have on your plate? I know my day is crazy, and I decided to do something different on the vlog. I don't know if you guys are liking it or not, but I'm literally like documenting like every minute of the day, essentially, whether it's time lapse or whatever the case is. I'm trying to just really bring this insane day to a head. What do you got going on? Oh, I'm still digging out of Black Friday's, oh my <laughs> God. which is good. But bad. <laughs> oh, by the way, good news. Tomorrow I was heading to Chicago to hook up with a couple friends, Paul Cafaro being one of them. Uh, and guess what? It's going to get six inches of snow. So guess who's not going to Chicago tomorrow? Oh, good. Yeah. That, that's better for me. <laughs> yeah, it's better because she was going to have to work the Reptarium without me. So I will be at the Reptarium tomorrow because I'm not driving through six inches of snow. So, uh, nice. yep. Trip, trip canceled. All right, next tour is coming up. So we have our family for the second tour of the day. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's so good. Where are you guys from? Pennsylvania, Chambersburg. Pens oh, my God. Did you drive here for this or were yeah. you in the area? No, I just come up here for this. Oh, my God. Well, thank you guys so much. It's so awesome. Well, I will do my absolute best to make this worth your drive. Thank you so much. Let's get to it, all right? Sounds great. All right. So you said you had six retics yes, already? Lucy's baby would be six. Oh, and Lucy. So he's picking up one of Lucy's babies. A male or female? Female. Female. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice big one. That's Definitely. good. That's awesome. Yeah. I can't wait for it. So uh, that's cool. Of course, a little time with Casper. You guys like snakes too? Yes. Yeah. Oh, my God. You guys are into them? Oh, we each have our own. Oh, what do you have? Uh, vanilla ball pythons. Oh, that's nice. That's yeah. sweet. Awesome. I may or may not have gotten you peed on by a frog. Maybe just a little bit. Just, just, <laughs> just, just a little bit. <laughs> so the whole fam has an animal. You've got a two-year-old boa. You got my Gilbert's python. We got potato out over here, and of course the pastel pie ball ball python. You know, this is the way you live. You know, everyone gets a snake. I'm like Oprah. I'm the Oprah of snakes. <laughs> yes. You know, everyone gets a snake. <laughs> Got Pepper out. <laughs> I have to show you guys Pepper. Definitely. He is doing so good. I mean, he's, he's looking how chunky awesome. that monkey is, man. Holy moly. Won't be long and I will put him on display. Like I said, I think that Pepper's pretty much ready to come out and be on display here. Uh, the albino salt has still got a couple more weeks. Hopefully she'll kind of gain a little bit of weight and stuff like that and make me feel comfortable. I am still nervous. Got beer day out. How do you like it? I really like it. Isn't she awesome? Mm -hmm. And then the monster. You're, take, you're taking the risk, aren't you? Yes, sir. Look at he's like, where's a finger? Uh -huh. Where's a finger I can How's bite? How's that one look? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it's been a real pleasure. Seriously, I've had a really, really good time with you guys. It's awesome to kind of have someone that's so passionate, a whole family that's as passionate as you guys are. So seriously, this was my pleasure. I hope that you enjoyed it. And uh, exactly. I'm going to see you guys tonight, right? Yes, sir. All right, cool. They're coming back here in Reptarium hour. So uh, all right, I'll see you guys soon. All right, thanks, guys. See you. See you. Bye. Tour number two down. It is now one o'clock. I have about an hour before my next tour, and then that's only, I think, a half hour, 45 minute tour. And then we have, what, about an hour or so till the Reptarium opens. I still have to do some work next door as well, too. So, a uh, busy day, but I hope that you guys are enjoying the kind of play by play of what my life is really like because pretty much every day is like this. My buddy Vic the electrician is done with the transfer switch. I know it's nothing like too exciting, but I actually get excited about this because you gotta remember it is winter time here in Michigan and not having a generator on this building definitely was stressing me out. So now basically what you have here is you just have a transfer switch. When the power goes out, I just flick, 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 flick. It runs the entire place. And then out here I have a generator set actually for both BHB and here. And I just basically plug it in right here and the entire building is basically running like there is power. The only thing I really have to do is come here and actually start the generator after that it runs itself and it's all good so i am super happy that now both bhb and the reptarium are covered for the winter it's been a while what do you say we feed some frogs I'm happy, but I'm kind of sad to see that Lucy's babies have finally been going out the door. I'm happy because, you know, they need to go to good homes where people are going to absolutely love them. And like I had mentioned before, we talked to everyone. They're all completely responsible and able to take care of beautiful pythons like this. And by the way, this is the one that I'm going to raise up. So I'm pretty excited about that is too. Again, it's a little bit bittersweet seeing your babies finally going out. But again, I know they're going to have great homes. And one day they're going to be beautiful big snakes, just like their mom, Lucy. Holy cow. Take a look at this. 
the spinner super stripe red stripe that we hatched out this year oh my god we have so many great ball pythons and you know i am a ball python guy i love them i feel like i haven't been giving them that much love in the vlog lately so i don't know let me know in the comments if you guys want me to just do an all ball python episode well, i won't do an all ball python one but maybe i'll take like five or seven minutes and just show you guys an insane amount of really cool ball pythons but again i just think this little thing is unbelievable again let me know if you guys want me to do something like that remember those baby woma pythons we hatched a few months back look at how big they're getting and this is one of the ones that was like super light almost like hypo-ish looking this thing is absolutely incredible it's got a little bit of an attitude though look at that little monkey right there i absolutely love these dudes just wrapping up a handful of things my next tour and last tour of the day should be here any minute so what do you say we wait for them let them in and have a good time all right <laughs> this hair is absolutely incredible look at these guys oh my gosh you guys are awesome it's Thank so you. nice to meet you nice thank you, meet you so too. for coming guys what's oh. your name i'm sorry uh i'm daniel daniel i'm eli eli daniel daniel what's yep. going on good to welcome welcome we ready to have a good time yeah, yeah let's absolutely. do it let's do it so these guys have a couple leopard geckos so i'm showing them a uh, jasper the fat tail gecko right here it's such a cool thing it's again it's really similar to a leopard gecko just yeah. from a different area of the world but uh yeah. he's super docile so this is joker he's a scaleless texas rat snake doesn't he feel weird he does a little bit yeah Did you yep. he's kind of like fuzzy yeah like fuzzy people say it almost yeah. feels like a peach oh. yeah almost right I believe it. All right. Dad, yeah, take a picture. This is Ben and Jerry. <laughs> ben and Jerry. I bet you're the first uh, kid in your school that's going to ever be able to handle a two-headed snake. <laughs> Most likely. All right. So tell me, guys, what was your favorite thing? Um, um I'm going to have to go with either the two-headed snake or this one. <laughs> all right. Nice. Yeah. How about you? I have no idea. idea. They're all amazing. You're yeah. a lizard guy, though, right? Yeah. Lizard yeah. guy. You like Tazzy or, or Elvis? Elvis. Elvis. All right. Cool. <laughs> Man, so Bye. good to see you. It's good you to too. meet you guys. You guys come yeah. see me anytime. Thank okay. you so Thank much. Thank you very it's much. Awesome. Yes. You guys have a good one. Stay in touch, all right? All right. Be passionate. See you guys. And that wraps up the tours for today. It is now 3 15, 45 minutes till we open up the Reptarium. I had a great morning. I mean, it was absolutely incredible. Every single person that came in today was absolutely incredible. I could have spent all day with them, to be honest with you. And I think a couple of groups are actually coming back tonight to hang out when we open. So 45 minutes to go, and let's open up the Reptarium. I always talk about how one of my favorite leopard gecko morphs is the Bull Bell. I mean, just take a look at that animal right there. There's some at the bottom. I mean, yeah, we get fancier geckos that are rare and whatever, and what are considered more high end, but gosh, that is just one beautiful animal. I don't know, it's always gonna be one of my favorites. I tell you what, I couldn't be more excited about this ivory Burmese python. I tell you what, since the first time I saw these guys, I wanted them. Sure, it's not like a pure, pure white snake like Casper. It's about as close as you possibly can get. I just have always wanted them, I'm so excited. But I do need a name for this ivory Burmese python. It's a girl, so if you have any ideas for a female ivory Burmese python, go ahead and comment down below and let me know. This little girl's gonna be over at the Reptarium soon enough, but we've been really trying to stick to that 30 to 60 day quarantine. So we're gonna keep her over here at BHB for a little while, and then she'll eventually move over. So she is an absolute cutie. As you guys know, we had an absolutely amazing gargoyle gecko year. We're raising up a bunch of new babies. This one is actually a Deadpool line from Tiki's Gecko. Oh my God, it's absolutely my pride and joy when it comes to gargoyle geckos. I cannot wait till this little monkey is big enough to breed and start getting more of these. Oh my. Oh my God, breeding these into some of the other ones we have. Oh my God, it's gonna be absolutely incredible. I am in love with this little dude. All right, it's almost four o'clock. What do you say we head over to the reptarium and spend the next five hours just enjoying and educating people and sharing the passion for reptiles. Been open for about five minutes. We got sunrise out. Oh, you're holding it, all right. She came in and she was kind of freaked out about it, but that is awesome, good job. It's so cool to see that. I mean, I love it. That's what I love about this place for sure. We got Casper out over here. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? We got Roswell out. Again, just open, but it's going to be an absolutely incredible night. Alright, so we're getting a little bit later and I think it's like, I don't know, 7 or 7.30. It's absolutely been bonkers since we opened up, but it was an absolutely great time so far. Uh, still a long way to go. I mean, by far it's not over, but at least the crowds have let up a little bit, so it's not quite as crazy. It really is crazy in here. The temperature goes up like 15 degrees when there's like 150 people in here. So uh, it's starting to cool off a little bit, but there's still loads of fun to be had. my 
my first time holding a reptile. What? I was telling you, I want to hold a snake, but I'm scared. Very first time she's ever held a snake. <laughs> and you're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. You did good, huh? It's not that bad, is it? Try not to make any sudden movements. No, you're doing good. You, don't, you could do anything with it. It would never do anything. You're doing so good. She's so gorgeous. We're running up at about 8 o'clock. It's still really busy. You know, normally it kind of calms down the last hour, hour and a half, but uh, still a lot of people. We got the blood python out over here, which is really cool. So, again, uh, I hope that you guys are enjoying being on this adventure of what my real days are like from start to finish. Again, we still have an hour of reptarium. Then it takes me about an hour to kind of close down, get everything ready, go through the animals and all that type of stuff. And then by the time I'm home, it's like 11 o'clock. So, hey, we only have, you know, three hours to go and we can shut our long day down. Well, it is nine o'clock and the Reptarium is officially closed. We have a handful of people just hanging out. We'll probably hang out here for another 15, 20 minutes, whatever the case may be. Actually, I think that we have some monitor feeding because my buddy Corey actually came with some deer meat. So he wanted to feed Argamas and stuff like that. So that's what happens sometimes after hours here. He loves it. Cassie, you eating, bud? <laughs> oh, oh, look at that. By hand, too. See, she's a real reptile wrangler. <laughs> Cassie. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just gonna have a fun for a little while here. We'll shut things down, make sure everything's good, and then I'm heading home. And I am back home, and it's about 11 o'clock, so that basically sums up my normal day, about 16 hours. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. It's the first time that I really filmed in this way, so let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it, if you want to see more of it in the future. I wouldn't do it often, but maybe once in a while I'll take you guys along on a complete journey of what I do, if you so choose. It's totally up to you. In the meantime, I am going to go ahead and shut it down because it is late and I do want to get some rest because tomorrow we have another 16 hour day ahead of us and it's going to be absolutely epic. I wish that you guys have an amazing day, evening, whenever you're watching as well. Thank you as always for all your support. You guys truly, truly mean the world to me. Thank you and I love you guys so much. Can you do me one last thing before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button, turn those post notifications on, leave a comment so I can read about your beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.